on NTV today. Should I then label that person my enemy, label them a, 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 a traitor to the country, and label them as undemocratic? Absolutely not. The very essence of democracy when, when the people of France, uh, this month, how many years ago? 208. 208 years ago, went to the streets. They were fighting about freedom of expression. They were asking themselves, as Kenya is today, whether the cost of living is sustainable, whether the decisions of their government is right for them. It does not make anyone any less Kenyan. So let's be clear. In France, up to a few weeks ago, there are demonstrations nearly every year. And France has one of the most destructive uh, 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 demonstration behaviors of any country. Now, I'm not saying let us destroy anything. What I'm simply saying is that demonstrations, uh, criticism from the media, are part and parcel of democracy. All of those people talking lifted the Bible and swore to uphold democracy and to uphold our constitution. Guess what? Even if you give me the best meal in the world, I have the right to stand and say that the pilau I ate at State House was terrible. And the, as the president and as the minister of trade, they should support me and clap for me for having the girl and the strength and the temerity to speak against them. That's number one. So anyone who's going to criticize people for criticizing them is acting totally one out of constitutional norms and want us to, wants to take us back to the dictatorship of Daniel Toretich Arab Moy. You may look like him, don't act like him. Now, to answer your question, <laughs> Raila Odinga is indeed at his Waterloo, for sure. His age the repeated losses of um, uh, elections, uh, the, 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 the kind of biting at his heels that is happening, the writing is on the wall. If not now, soon, right? That's, that's clear. But it is also clear that no one else has the, 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 the presence, the historical power to push back on the government as Kenyans are a huge majority of them would want to see. But he has been tampered by experience. And I think he is uh, pulling and pushing in the hope that he will not push Mandamano to the point where Kenya is on the brink, but he will also not allow uh, the government of the day to, to carry out an agenda which he himself, Raila Odinga, and many others feel is not going to be successful. For example, I have spent the entirety of yesterday trying to find an example of a country, both modern and historic, that has succeeded because it increased taxes as suddenly and by as much as we have. I have not met one. I have not seen a country that has suddenly seen a boom in its economic reality because it taxed its people. I've also not seen a government succeed by not handling the currency issue. The currency issue is a big deal. You order your goods at 130, they arrive at 137. When you are selling them to reorder, the dollar is at 146. It is unsustainable. At the same time, the stock exchange of this country has wiped out nearly 50% of its value in six months. We have serious issues we need to address. So the truth is that whether we like it or not, and I speak for many, many Kenyans, we are uncomfortable. And those Kenyans are, 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 are required and allowed by law to vent and to speak against what they find uncomfortable. There is absolutely nothing wrong with my fellow village mates uh, eating their ugali and complaining about how expensive it is. And that is something that Raila Odinga and Azimio are doing. And there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, UDA, the government in power, held up the Bible and swore that they would support, protect, 
the rights of every Kenyan who wants to demonstrate, attend a kamukunji, and things like that. So let's not uh, call uh, these things a bad name. The, the UK has demonstrations. The United States has demonstrations.